I was inspired to start this program by my own, in part, by my own life experience. Um, in, in school, I wasn't a good student. Um, on the violin, I wasn't a particularly interesting or exciting violinist. So I had a struggle, kind of on all levels. And it was uh, just a part of growing up. However, uh, we had children, some of them had an easy time in school and some of them did not. And the more I looked around, the more I felt that, especially at music programs, the more I felt that I could make a difference. And so that's how it started, really, out of my own life experience. And I, I, I hope that we do make a difference. music and I think for some of us we have different personalities we have different backgrounds but what we all share in common is our love to music that's where we all spend our lives and it's it's we have our hardships there as well as our love if you hear um, a sound or a phrase or whatever it is you just feel like you're so into the music that you can imagine a whole world inside of that music and that's the beauty of like any kind of music especially classical music for me he doesn't put pressure on you to be perfect or he doesn't compare you to anyone else he doesn't like when you compare yourself to others because everybody's different and you really feel like you can go at your own pace and that um, it's okay if like your strengths are not someone else's strengths if somebody plays and it's kind of a certain way which you don't like. You don't say that's bad. You just say you're playing it as though you are what? It's too relaxed. It's too excited. It's too agitated. It's too, it's too kind of laid back. Just describe what it is. You know, the minute you describe what something is, it's not a criticism. If somebody scratches, you don't have to say, hey, it's scratchy. You can say, I don't know, the sound is a little, the, the quality of the sound is, doesn't match the other, you know, the other ones are mellower, this is, has more sharpness to it. You know, when you said something is sharp, it's much nicer than to say, hey, you play scratchy. It's much nicer. I just have this distinct memory of, we were all getting food and all of a sudden, a couple of kids just start, we burst out into singing and then everyone else just joins in and all of a sudden, the entire camp is just in the Perlman's dining room just arms around each other in a circle and we're just, we're singing our hearts out. Two years ago when I was introduced to Mrs. Perlman, um, one of our uh, studio mates said, well, her name is Mrs. P, and the P stands not for Perlman, but for perfect. She just somehow always knows what the right thing to say is, and if you're like feeling overwhelmed or anxious about performing or something in your know, personal life, she knows how to bring it down to something small and simple and make you feel like what you're struggling is able to be managed, and yeah, she's really, really amazing. <laughs> I feel like he, well, the, both the Perlmans are just wonderful human beings as well as teachers and like mentors, and like it's just a perfect um, community for all musicians and I feel like many of the kids here are very pressured but here it's just a very free space where you can do whatever you want. The, the priority is how you are as a person. The priority is being the best person you can possibly be and being a good musician is always second to that. That is that's what inspires me. That attaining such a high level of art if you do it in the right way can help you become that sort of person. And it's helped me see that that's what I want most.